talking on the phone. <laughs> well, I started recording. Are we live? Yeah, we're live right now. Live. First quarantine video. Brave new future. Look at us. Yeah. Patrick, you look like you're you're oh, fucking I'm quarantined. Definitely in a you quarantine. look like you're being held captive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. You look like uh <laughs> they're treating me nicely here. Uh <laughs> There's a list yeah. of demands. One was uh, to send physical copies of rare exports to uh, Second Harvest Food Bank. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, they That's want all good. the copies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't think of a better better way to help help people <laughs> rare exports. Patrick, let's okay, look Pat. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, this, this oh, is gonna be difficult. Well, yeah, you, it takes getting used to. Yeah. I just wanted to ask Patrick why the fuck we watch a Christmas movie. Because I wanted to forget about quarantine for a while and think of a happier time, Christmas. Okay. <laughs> An evil side of Christmas was your solution. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so how did you stumble across this one? I, I was also equally curious. Um, there was a there was like a cult section um, on Hulu. And that was one of them. So it was like a really, cult. yeah. Apparently, there is like a cult following for this movie, which was surprising. And that's how I stumbled across it. I had this movie on my list, actually. Really? I'd stumbled, yeah, I'd stumbled over it, and I just threw it in there. But you know, it's it's like one of those that you know you think you'll probably never actually watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> until yeah. until you get you show it, it's you see it show up in the text. Go okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Brian. Brian, what is this movie? Uh, yeah, it's called Rare Exports, a Christmas Tale. Uh, it's from 2010. Now, um, yeah, so this one was blind for all of us, right? Like you yeah. didn't hear about it and then watch it earlier, right, Patrick? Okay. No, no, I actually finished um, watching it today. All right. Well, I, I applaud the fact that you picked one that was a little bit different for the season. I mean, this is coronavirus season, and here you are picking a Christmas movie. Um, but yeah, um, well, okay. So, so let, let's try our best to act like we're in the room together. I miss you guys, by the way. Miss you too, man. I miss touching your knee. Yeah, I miss. I miss all of our knee. Yeah, I really enjoyed our our do conversation the other day. Oh yeah, the do just just do all yeah. over, just do it. Yeah, D D E W. <laughs> Let's do it. Spell um, that way, it's like thirty percent more funny. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, We're not quite like fifty percent. It's just something to pass the time. Look, everything gets an automatic thirty percent bump up because of you know being lonely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so rare exports a Christmas story or a Christmas tale. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so we start off with the little Christmas calendar, you know, 24 days until Christmas. What are those called again? Adv no, it's not an Advent oh, ad calendar. Yeah, it's an Advent calendar. It's an yeah. Advent calendar. Or Adventist. Yeah. So, so we start off, uh, you know, zooming on that, kind of letting us know where, where we're at in the story right out the get-go. And then we are introduced to uh, the boss of, like, a, a, a drill team. A team of drillers? Yeah. <laughs> and they're sitting in this office. I guess this is supposed to take place in... Is this like Russia or... This is or Finland. Uh, it's Finland's where it's at. They, well, yeah, but but yeah. the place where the... Yeah, but the place where the drilling is happening is across the border in Russia. But yeah, the the most of the story happens in Finland. Okay. Yeah. So we're in, we're in... We're currently actually... Yeah, we are currently are in Russia. Yeah. Russianland. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... The, the the head of this drill company or whatever is basically, you know, they, they're talking about how they've drilled into um, sawdust. Yes. From, like, some crazy <laughs> distance. What do you say, like, 65 feet in the earth? or Yeah, and it's know, like, we, we found sawdust, and he's like, oh, God, you know what this means. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sawdust. Even in the distant past, they <laughs> sawed wood. Incredible. Yeah. It was made to hold ice. <laughs> this movie does not fuck around at all, like, as far as getting to the point. You know, I kind of thought um, 
it would take us a little bit or there would be some buildup, but no. We understand pretty much straight out the fucking gates that goddamn Santa Claus is buried underneath the rock and rubble on top of this mountain. Yep. And uh, and this foreman wants that thing. I, I don't even actually, he's not a foreman. He's just some rich asshole who's like, like hired this team. Yeah. 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 He, he has this some kind of obsession or, yeah, it doesn't. So were they just clear. drilling first and then they just happen to come across Santa? No, he, this guy's okay. clearly okay. looking okay. for Santa. Okay. He's looking for it because we have the map and stuff. You know, I was kind of, I, I wondered why though the whole time. I'm like, man, this would have been a great opportunity to bring back some heroes of film. We could have had uh, Bruce Willis come in. Oh, yeah. Mm. We could have had Ben Affleck yeah, totally. walking around in there. Uh, Damon Wayans. <laughs> Damon Wayans. He, he wasn't was in that yeah. movie. He, 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 he was in some Christmas movie. I was uh, talking about Armageddon. Oh, oh, we're talking about that. Okay. <laughs> you remember? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Why do you always bring up Armageddon? Live Tyler. Do I? <laughs> yes. This has got to be like the third time you brought up Armageddon. Fuck yeah. Well, hey, it's one of the ones like because because I always like to make fun of like stupid movies, but I love that stupid movie. Uh-huh. Anyway, yeah. So, so they're. <laughs> They're drilling down. The guy's like, all right, you have X amount of hours. I want this grave brought to, up onto the mountain. And then we have a couple of kids that we meet. You know, they're snooping around, yep. being little, little fucking Nancy Drews, investigating and shit. Mm-hmm. Older, older kid, the older chubby kid with the mullet. That's basically what I looked like when I was twelve. <laughs> Except my hair was spiked on top. I had it was a little bit cooler. It was sticking okay. up on top. You had a mullet when you were twelve. Fuck yeah, that was a style back then, man. Spiked on top, long in the back. Oh man. Oh yeah, it came was... back shortly a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was a hot shit. Was... <laughs> I'll find tiger heat. I'll... I'll find a picture sometime. Yeah, I was about to say, please. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, so you got these two. You got these two kids, like one older, one quite a bit younger. They both got fucking rifles because it's Finland, and I guess just all kids carry guns in Finland. (laughs) And they they broke into this place, and they're they're watching this happen. And and our main character is actually it's the younger kid. He's our he's our sort of I don't know our fucking yeah he's our tiny our tiny tim hero yeah yeah, yeah. This movie. yeah he's our main protagonist yeah and then uh he i don't forget how he gets onto it so quick but he's like it's santa and it's evil like yeah, he, yeah he's, well, he's been like researching santa this whole time yeah. i think it was yeah because whenever the the beginning credits you know roll up and everything it, it's like he's reading through uh, he's got like coloring books that he's thumbing through. Yeah, that have like you know, demon a, de- a demon Santa. You know, like yeah, he's got like boiling pots of soup and shit. He's got you know? stacks and stacks of books on Santa. They don't. They yeah. don't barely have food, but he's got this well, fucking Santa <laughs> library. And fin- Finland will argue with you that Santa was originally from Finland. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That's that's their thing. They believe that's where he started. They still have his house up there, apparently. That you can go visit. Next, next time I meet a Finn, I'm gonna, I'm oh, gonna ask confront them. That. I'm gonna confront them about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so speaking on, you know, money and the family, I was introduced to the uh the dad at this point, him him and the youngest son, you know, they're they're living together. Uh mom's out of the picture. Uh dad's setting a trap outside. He's got like this fucking uh pig's head hanging over this uh pile of sticks and shit basically it's a, it's some kind of a trap set to get game of some sort reindeer or something pretty sure yeah. it's reindeer um oh no that's for wolves yeah that trap for was for wolves yeah because they were yeah they mentioned it because mm. when they when they later on something's in the trap like yeah. the kid's really scared and, and he's like get back you know it's because he's trying to catch wolves and they even mentioned it like those are illegal oh you're talking about the the trap with like the oh yeah that's... yeah 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 
I forgot about that. That they did say the whole thing of, oh yeah, those are illegal. You're right. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if you know. I don't know if there are any meat eating reindeer out there, but I mean, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's it Finland. Who Wolf. knows? He did well, hang I, a, it... I mean, there's a satanic Santa Claus in this movie. Yeah. yeah Anything's right. possible. Yeah. yeah. He would Absolutely have anyway. meat eating reindeer, wouldn't he? If he was the Santa Claus. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're living in they're living in this house together, and fucking, um, it's 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 like a big day of their the hunters are supposed to get together, bring their sons and shit. It's supposed to be some kind of a manly fucking moment where they gather all together in this wooden fence and and, and try to capture these reindeer yeah. when they're just innocently walking across the plain. Yeah, this is weird. I'm, I'm why did sense. they why do they have the guns if the reindeer are just supposed to walk into this? electric fence yeah, thing i don't know why they why do the reindeer do this they're just gonna know. corral them up and then just shoot them all in the head at one time that's basically yeah i think so <laughs> <laughs> um uh so we at this point too i don't want to go into like every little detail but we have established the fact that the kid you know this obsession with evil santa he set a trap in the fucking chimney he's waiting for santa to come <laughs> down <laughs> yeah. The yeah, dad's building cool. a fire and it damn near killed him. <laughs> <laughs> he throws a log in and what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, the kid's like, you know, and, it, and that's the thing about this movie. It, it's almost setting you up for like a Home Alone kind of thing, right? Yeah. That's how I felt because yeah, that you know, been the awesome. kid's like, yeah, the kid's got his like pads on, his little helmet, even like fucking. Remember when his his old, the older kid was over there and he's like, take this cardboard and and. Put it over your your bum. Put it over Had your bum. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that really was saying like Santa might rape you. I, I, I think that's what because he in the whole movie he was walking around with this cardboard taped over his ass. Oh yeah, I remember he didn't he give some cardboard to like his friend saying to cover your ass too or something. Yeah, that's like what that. he did. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think he's supposed to like whip the shit out of you. Is what it was. They were kind oh, of. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, 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 because <laughs> yeah, because okay. pretty much they're kind of basing it off of Krampus is what they were doing. He would kidnap you in a satch and just like hit you with a switch over and over again. Oh. Did you guys catch that one? It's it's like a very small thing at the beginning. Uh, whenever they're, you know, digging up his grave or whatever the hell you want to call it, that he's in. Mm-hmm. And that that boss guy like takes a little fucking placard card and hands it to the foreman of, of the drill team, mm-hmm. and he's all like, you know, make sure you men follow this list. And it's like a fucking naughty list. What? It's like, yeah, it's like don't you know cough in your hands or something. I don't know. It's like, if you look at it, it just says all these stupid things like, don't be mean, don't stay up too late. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, I do remember that. That was fucking weird. Yeah. It's like he he's trying to protect the workers from Santa if he gets out or something. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really... <laughs> so, so uh, uh, where we go? So, so basically, We're at the reindeer uh, part. Yeah. So basically, somebody. Yeah, we got the reindeer part. So all the reindeer are killed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That are, they're supposed to have. They're, they're gonna. They're supposed to sell the meat for those to basically make it through the winter and. They were going to get $86,000 for yeah. all the reindeer. For the community. Yeah. So this is kind of the whole town, this tiny little town. And then we see the trap back at the house. The boy and his dad, the trap is something's in the trap. The head's gone. Mm-hmm. Runs down and sees a body in the trap. Yeah, the dad's telling him, "Oh, it's just a bird. Don't look in there. It's just a bird," you know. And then him and his uh, his fucking little—I uh, like to call him the Nick Nolte of this movie, the Russian Nick Nolte, the one that was always wearing like a Santa hat. Yeah, the one who yeah. was like who would go around this small little village and play Santa. Yeah, yeah, yeah he looked. <laughs> yeah, old ass Nick Nolte. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like yeah, Nick Nolte. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So he calls him up, and they're in their like garage, kind of investigating the body and everything like that, and pull it out. And the guy, the the Santa dude, has stolen uh, the drill dude's like passport and shit. Basically, stolen his identity. Oh, what's What's cool about that passport is the numbers on it is actually the number for pie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I read that. That was yeah. pretty cool. I don't want to fuck you so bad. <laughs> we can't do the screen, Ryan. 
quarantine. We can do anything. <laughs> yeah. Keep the distance. From a distance, we are yeah. fucking... Um. Anyway, it's yeah, pretty so, obvious. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. The guy that they have is not the guy in the picture. It's basically it looks like fucking Santa Claus. Yes, a naked yep. old skinny Santa Claus. <laughs> now this guy is pretty creepy. I, I like this character, and, and I I wish it had been more about just that. Maybe that had oh, actually him. been Santa. Yeah. yeah. So they've got this guy, and he's just sort of catatonic. He's just in there. The guy's butcher. Were they about to cut him up? Yeah, they thought he was dead. Yeah, and they were about to like cut his arm off with a table saw, and he pulls his arm back. Yeah. <laughs> Why so were then they about he, then... to cut him up? Because <laughs> they were to hide the body. Oh. Because yeah, he had rid of the because evidence. those traps yeah. are illegal, and oh, okay. you know they thought they just killed sense. a yeah. random dude. Yeah. So they're gonna hide the body. Well, it's not the guy's not dead, and it is just he's just sort of sitting there creepy look on his face dick hanging out the whole time <laughs> there's Dude, more it's... wiener in this movie than I've ever seen probably tons and tons of old man dick I don't... flopping yeah. everywhere I don't understand how uncircumcised they uncircumcised European dick I don't understand how they could survive out there in the mountains of Finland naked no it's magic. shoes yeah, I magic guess. of Christmas I guess. So, <laughs> so yeah so they, they think that <laughs> I, how do how does this go out? Like, the kid is spying on him, they're, and they're like, "What do we do with him?" Yeah, he kid, flips out because he yeah. sees what they're about to do and runs off. Yeah, yeah. the the right. Santa is is like the son is. Um, he feels like there's some sort of like, I don't want to use the word connection, but like anytime the son's around and Santa's there, he's like, oh, you yeah. know, his 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 attention is completely you know directed towards the direction of this kid. Yeah, uh, you know, because you know he, he's only he's only interested in the kids. He doesn't want the fucking adults, you know. Kind of like old Patrick over there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a terrible thing to say. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So the son runs away. Dad runs out like, nah, my boy. And then the fucking cops come and pick him up. And Nick Nolte's left back at the garage. And then, you know, like, Nick Nolte's talking to the fucking, uh, you know, the Santa and everything, and he's, like, taunting him with ginger cookies, gingerbread yeah. cookies. They're great around that holiday season. And uh, and then, you know, uh, the, the cops end up with the dad and the boy, and they run into another family whose potato sacks have all been stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they left the oh uh, potatoes and stole the sex. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and then this band of misfit <laughs> Russian Finland people they go back to talk to Santa. One of them's an interpreter. <laughs> he can speak English and he he can speak to Santa Claus. And they're trying to figure out uh, what oh, he he's bites doing the here. Off his ear. Yeah, he bought he bit yeah. Nick Nolte's ear. Bites half of his ear off. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, um, so now it's like they're they're basically looking at it like we have this fucking treasure, you know, and, and we can sell it, you know, we can make the money that we've lost because these reindeer fucking died and everything. And, yeah, somehow uh, they somehow they they're like the guy that's digging we, the we can the sell guy's people. gonna want. We think we, they've all just they the kids said Santa. We've all decided it's Santa. We're mm -hmm. gonna sell Santa now. Yep. Yeah, he already had a Santa costume. He throws the Santa costume on this on the guy who still hasn't said or done anything. Yeah, and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, so let's let's go ahead. There's a bunch of stuff that happens, but basically the end of our the last act of our movie is uh, all of our you know characters are are now trying to get some money for Santa. They've got him in a cage. They're fucking going down they the road in a truck. Yeah. They dressed him up, and they're going to meet uh, that boss guy, the the owner of the drill team, or, or just this rich guy who has pursued uh, finding Santa's grave for his whole life. Or You know, it's like fucking Indiana Jones. It's exactly uh, what I thought at the beginning. I'm like, this yeah. is the beginning of Indiana Jones. Now, don't get me wrong, anyone. This is not... No. Indiana Jones. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> um, so. Part five. This is like part five. Yeah, yeah there you five. go. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
so yeah, they 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 uh, meet up with the boss guy, and then we find out that who we think is Santa this whole time isn't even actually Santa. Okay, no. he's just one of Santa's little helpers. He's one of the elves. At this point, we see that there's a shit ton of them because they all start advancing on these guys, killing people. Yeah, they start. They kill the boss guy with the fucking knife to the back of the head. Oh, uh, you know, he had also they, he had kidnapped his friend with the mullet. Mm -hmm. We had learned Juto that earlier. Or whoso, however you're supposed to say and it. He's, you, yeah, and yeah. he's called around trying to find where his friend is, and the kid has figured out all the kids are missing now. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, so yeah, the the kid he he's looking again. It's kind of like a storage unit kind of a deal that they're up against. And the kid is looking at one of the doors, and it's it's uh the door is number twenty four. Oh, and he's like the last door. Previous to that, they're like all everybody's been stealing radiators. Somebody's been st stealing nothing but radiators and stoves. Air dryers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, my! It's the air dryer. Yeah. So bad out there. <laughs> yeah, and the potato sacks. They were all yes. stolen. They yeah. they come into play here. I, fuck it, I don't know why. As soon as, as you fucking potato slices, it made me laugh. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, we everybody's in in this storage unit now, you know, minus the dead folk. And I gotta say, those elves or Santa's helpers or whatever the fuck you want to call them that are outside, kind of Santa's protectors is what I think of the mass. I thought that shit was kind of cool looking. You know, they're, it's sort of like zombieish. They're just in the background, you know, just. Kind of being still in the like, ah, saying, oh, yeah. That's like that's it. about the coolest part of the movie. Just, just naked, the, yeah. <laughs> hundreds of naked old men with long beards running at the camera. Yep. Best part I of the mean. movie. <laughs> Boy, it's I missed that. <laughs> yeah, that's God, that I quarantine do. excitement you wish for. Yep. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandpa, I miss you. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, then we go in and we see Santa. Uh, they refer to it as Santa's nest. It's yeah. a uh, it's a huge block of ice and these two fucking huge like goat horn things coming out of it. And you say uh, huge, you're talking like it seems like 25, 30 feet tall. Yeah, yeah, this is it's massive. Really this, big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a cool monster thing. Which leads me to one of my biggest fucking disappointments of this movie is that we never follow through with it. You know what I mean? We we get the uh, the the idea. That Santa is this monstrous creature, and that he can like fucking kill fucking anything that he wants to, you know. But god damn it, it kind of lets us down a little bit. And uh, yeah, so we basically the idea is let's get all the kids that are in these potato sacks. Yeah, all the kids are there gathered around like like their offerings for Santa. Yes, yes. And we have the all the radiators are there trying to. Melt the block of ice. Radiators, that stoves, in. hair dryers. So they're <laughs> surrounded now. The elves are coming in. They're so like, "What do we do?" We, mm -hmm. they're like kicking over the radiators. Stop. We got. We can't let him melt. And then the little kid has the idea. Apparently, fucking Nick Nolte can fly a helicopter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this fucking Finnish redneck, like maybe you know he was in some war, you know whatever. But so the kid's like. Has the idea? We'll use the we'll use all the other kids as bait. We'll, we'll all be bait. So they they are, they keep them in their sacks, and they have a big net, and they they lower the thing down, and they pick up the all the kids to the top of the the roof, and they they start flying away. The kids hanging on the outside, like yeah, I'm the hero, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you know, all Nick the, Nolte the, is like going oops, so hello. fast and just swerving around everywhere. In yeah, the helicopter. The first, like, ah, what's happening? What? Just I wait. It's like, just wait. It'll come back. Sweet Jesus Christ. Okay. Good. Good. We hear you loud and clear. You can good. see me. You hear yeah. me? Yeah. 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 You're good. You're good. Okay. I guess it's just kind of. Sometimes <laughs> it'll. It. Sometimes it'll freeze <laughs> up. It's like fucking two thousand all over again. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just gonna trust that you guys can see me because I can't see shit right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the yeah, were you saying how the kids were swinging around underneath the helicopter? Yeah. Like big old yeah, big yeah. Sack just, of kids. Just, yeah, just just big sack of fucking kids. Yeah, just a sack of kids. Just, yeah. just <laughs> swinging, swinging around. around, and that one kid's just <laughs> hanging on with his arm, just loving it. It's like there's no yeah. way that kid would be alive. 
that kid was dead. Oh yeah, yeah. But he, you know, so so dad and fucking um, uh, interpreter dude, right? They're back and they blow up Santa's ice shell. They cut off yeah, the horns got, first. Yeah, they keep yeah. the horns and they they pack a bunch of dynamite around it. Drive, they're driving away and yeah, blow up Santa. Yeah, and then all the all the elves stop. You know the 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 fucking the main kid. He's like, you know, dove in to the reindeer pit where he's hurting. You know the uh, the elf people, the elvens. Yeah, I, I love this. I, I like. The, I actually kind of like the part where he's like, you know, because the whole movie, his dad is just kind of treats him like a pain in the ass. His dad doesn't really. He's just in the way. He's always fucking things up. Mm-hmm. Every time he sees him, he probably remembers his dead wife. You know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. And then, and then he's like, well, he's got to open up the pen to trap all of the, the, the elves. So he's like, the only thing you can do, he has got to jump down off the helicopter. And he lands on top of the little tower and he climbs down. But before he does, he, he's talking into the microphone and he tells he tells Nick, Nick Nolte, he's like, Tell my dad what I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell him yeah. I was a hero, basically. <laughs> and uh, so now he, all the elves rush in there, and he's basically surrounded. You know, and it looks like they're gonna fucking eat him or something. But that's when Santa explodes, and they all freeze. You know, mm-hmm. they, they stop doing anything. They're just standing there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. The, I mean, the very end, we've got uh, all these all these elves in a fucking you know warehouse being chosen for who's going to be Santa. And then they get shipped in big wooden crates yep. off to no, play no, Santa. No, they're, they're they train them to be Santa. They're selling yeah. them as and, like yeah. Santa slaves. Yeah, yeah. They're, they are human yeah. trafficking, is what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. this. <laughs> I didn't think I said it that tame. I guess I did though. <laughs> I thought shoving him in a crate instead and, and fucking sending they, them off. The well, yeah, it was like you said, like they're choosing Santa. I was like, no, they're just well, they, like it's almost like a rite of passage for them. Remember, because like they've got that line of them and they're going over each one, and and one of them like accidentally drops a doll that he has, and then he wants to open up the package, and they they skip over him, but the yeah. one who holds the package yeah. and doesn't you know rip into it is looking at the little kid and enjoying oh. The kid's supposed to be happy, not me. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're training them. They're, yeah. they're like training them to be mall Santas, basically. Yeah. There's like two or three hundred. I don't know how many of them there are. They might have. There was them, hundreds maybe. of them, but yeah. This yeah. this ending to me was just I. <laughs> it was. It wasn't an amazing left turn, like uh, dead or alive. It wasn't that of amazing mm. of a left turn. But it was to me a little bit of a wait. You did what? <laughs> You're mm-hmm. selling people. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. why it's called rare exports because you've decided to to save your town. You're gonna you've got these magical elves and you killed Santa, so now you're going to like train them to be Santa's, and you're going to literally put them in crepes and sh- ship them to Zanzibar to- <laughs> as-, as Santa slaves. I was like, what the fuck kind of fucking ending? Like, what are you what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, um, my favorite part of the end. Sorry, this is really throwing me off because everything is. It just looks weird on my screen, so I apologize if I'm acting. No, you're cool. Man. Just go run with it. Yeah. you're cool. Um, my my favorite part of the end, honest to God, is just like you were talking about how the relationship between the son and his dad. Mm-hmm. Like throughout the movie, you know, he gives the kid a gun, and then he basically treats him like a fucking pansy once he, once he has the gun. You know, he, he's like, he's like, for God's sakes, take off those ga- goggles. You know, you look like a pussy. You know, and then, <laughs> like they're opening up the gate to go into that reindeer thing, yeah. and then like the fucking dad shoves him down, <laughs> yeah, yeah. pushes him to the fucking ground, and then at the, at the fucking ass end of the movie, you have the dad, you know, saying like, "Oh, you're a man." <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Good Lord, right? It's hard out yeah, in Finland, man. man. You, you, uh, you got to do a lot to get your dad's approval in Finland. It appears to be so, yeah. yeah. You got to be the most hard, the most hard eight-year-old. <laughs> just top. Yeah. Willing to kill a bitch. Like. <laughs> oh, shit. So, yeah, I mean... 
I, I didn't hate it. I, I honestly don't think... Because I'm a sucker for Christmas horror movies. Mm. I like them. Yeah. And I don't really find myself, like, watching this one again. I mean, one, one and done for me, but... You want to go to scores? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll give my score. Uh, um, I feel like this movie is... It, it like it didn't know what it wanted to be. I because starting off, I was I was getting into it, and I was thinking like I kind of mentioned kind of that Home Alone kind of thing, or sort sort of like it. As far as I, I always like movies where you've got like the kids are like trying to fight this thing, and you know the parents, all the adults don't know or they don't believe, so the kids are kind of stuck in this situation and they have to deal with it themselves. Mm-hmm. And I felt like it was setting you up for that. I like those kind of movies. That I think that's always fun. And and it does start to go that way, but then it just kind of bogs down, you know, and you think maybe okay, we'll have this this Santa, the old guy in the thing. Maybe, you know, he's going to go crazy and he'll start killing people. It'll be kind of a slasher. The kids are fighting the slasher movie, you know, kind of thing. I think that would have been awesome. That would have been great. Mm-hmm. But it just sort of changes from that into Okay, we're gonna do something with this Santa. We're gonna sell the Santa to get money, and then we've got now we have that we no, that's not Santa. We have this fucking giant Santa. Okay, well you have the giant Santa. Why don't you do something with it? Because when I saw that, like you were talking about, when the giant, Mm -hmm. the actual Santa is frozen the block, and you see how big it is, like oh that thing rampaging through town, that would be cool. Well, that doesn't happen either. So I feel like it doesn't ever really hit any of the shit it's going for. It just sort of. And then, of course, the ending is sort of... It's too, it's too bonkers. It's just kind of weird. The weird Santa slavery thing is just really fucking weird. So, I, you know, I'd give this a two and a half. Yeah. Okay. Right, you know, it's not the worst movie we've seen, but, you know, I can't... Three would put it on the positive end, and I can't really give it that, so I'd put it, you know, in the middle a little bit. I, I think it had some promise, but it, it didn't really... It didn't follow through. Yeah, yep. I I agree with that. Uh, um, is it okay if I go next? I guess sure. Or, um. Uh, I mean, I, I really I try to be kind with with a lot of these, but honestly, I I have to be completely honest. I don't really have a whole tremendous amount of positive stuff to say on this one. I mean, it's it's not like it looked like shit or anything. I mean, it was shot just fine. Um, I kind of honestly think that that's part of its downfall. I I kind of wish instead of like making it look so, um, I don't know, like glossy and pristine and shit, they kind of would have backed off the money from that and, and maybe given us like some fucking puppets or something or some practical <laughs> effects that were, that were cheaper, in, if that makes any sense. That way maybe we could have seen some more stuff. Yeah. Uh, cause I feel like it was probably low, you know, on the lower budget and they just wanted to, to use it for like CGI moments and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, honest to God, I, I really, I had a hard time, um, finding many enjoyable <laughs> moments in it. I, I also wish like there would have been more build up. I mean, just a lot of times I think movies can, can start off and they can just, you can just hit it, hit it, hit it. And, and it never backs off. And it, and it just, it, you know, it's a hit, but um, for some reason, this one just didn't work for me on, on that level at all. I, I, even though there was not really a tremendous amount of downtime or anything, I even still kind of just found myself not necessarily bored, but just completely uninterested. Mm-hmm. Um, so honestly, I, I, I'm going to have to go with a one and not one and a half. Um, yeah, I, there was really nothing that saved it for me. You know, I was praying about halfway through, I'm like, God, at least give me something that's like humorous, like easy to laugh at or something. And I mean, you know, I I agree with you guys, the end of it's, you know, like you said, Nathan kind of takes out of left field or comes out of left field and it's sort of like, well, I didn't really see that coming. And that's true. But that still doesn't really save it too much for me. So yeah, what one and a half for mm. for this guy? Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this a two. I didn't feel like there was enough action in it, and then not not real Santa being used. That's and then going with exactly what you guys said too. 
just waiting for something to happen and nothing really cool happened in it except for the weird ending there you go that's all I got so you said a, a two. You said a two two yeah yeah all right, so we got one and a half to two and a half. I think that's, that's probably. God, have we given anything all that low before? Yeah, we've done a couple of movies that low before. No, I can't think of what it was though. I feel like it's been a while. Yeah, then, huh? yeah. It's been a while. Nope, don't do that. I feel like I was too generous now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. No, uh, I mean, I feel like it's I was still in there at the beginning. Yeah, it was just like, yeah, it just missed the mark, but at the end, yeah. Well, there we go. So we we did our first little review on uh, without being around each other. Yeah. Well, so how are you guys feeling? Sad. God, are we going to show off some movies that we have? Sure. Are we going to do that? I got some movies. Yeah. Yeah? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's one I'm excited about. We're going to do this on the channel at some point. I got right here a nice... Ah, uh, Cyborg. Nice, uh, very good special edition of Cyborg. Uh, fantastic. Really nice. Nice, nice uh, transfer. One of the best villains ever in that movie. <laughs> Is that Scream Factory, or Shout Factory, or? Yeah, Scream Factory. Yep. Nice. Uh, there's here's a great Japanese one. I think I'm gonna bring out. I've been holding on to this. This is in the same vein as Mutant Girl Squad. Okay. Uh, she, same okay. kind of deal. She have a Tokyo Gore Police. Gun. A little shoulder. bit wackier. She's got like a uh like a, a chainsaw sword. Mm. <clears throat> Like a chainsaw, but it's a sword. Damn. So that, that, yeah, you know. Got demons and stuff. Uh, this is a, a really cool um, Aero Video collection of Takashi Miike movies. It's three movies. These are like more of his serious kind of Yakuza movies. Oh, that's really awesome cover. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. really cool. Uh, it's just, these are like all depression no humor <laughs> like it is none of the it's it has it's got the violence of Mike, but it doesn't have any of the kind of wacky over the top stuff it's just like really depressing but they're good movies they're nice. good movies can you show that one off a little bit more what we got there yeah black society trilogy yeah the, let's let's take it out of that sleeve there i mean it's going to look the same i mean it, oh, it's okay. the same artwork on the inside i think there's well there's something yeah, you kind of got. There's a booklet with it. Ooh. Yeah, I got a booklet, and I think there's a alternate eh. oh. Oh. alternate Easy. cover or something. Yeah, there's kind of alternate cover artwork on there. Yeah, you can flip around. Sweet. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. I like Fucking that. a, awesome. Uh, yeah, so How much that would set you back. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't much. I don't I'm remember. <laughs> 20 30 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. I got a... I just occurred to me, besides, besides Cyborg, all this all this stuff's Japanese. Uh, okay. Criterion collection of Yojimbo and Sanjuro. So this is uh, <clears throat> oh. Samurai movies, 60s. Sweet. Akira Kurosawa. Nice. Those are like... Both these have like really good booklets with... Uh, essays in them it's got it's some cool criterion man those ain't cheap yeah, yeah that one was a bit more expensive i think this one i love and i think i will do the first one lady snowblood i think uh, i've seen one, that one this is uh definitely clearly inspires uh kill bill <laughs> uh the first movie not the second one but the first one is uh tarantino Tarantino definitely took a lot from this movie. I don't mm -hmm. think Kill Bill is nearly as good as this movie. Uh, it's really cool, beautifully shot. Uh, it's got a poster, poster in uh, Criterion release of that. Beautiful bloody stuff in that movie. It's really cool. Heck yeah. Uh, and then these two, these last two, I got these. These kind of these are both Aero Video. Oh no, wait. One's Aero, one's Criterion. Uh, this is the same director, uh, 
Seijun Suzuki. Uh, this is like early 60s Yakuza stuff. And uh, they're really cool. You know, like I say, they're slower moving kind of kind of movies. But they're they're just really... I, I, I love the style of these movies. Just the, the, the pace, the, the kind of like... I love that period of time. I, I just love period pieces in general, just no matter what it yeah. is. I, I just like staring kind of historic shit. Uh, this one is kind of a straightforward, like your straightforward Yakuza, kind of shoot him up. At the time, it was known for being like super violent. Today's standards, it's, it's like nothing, but at the time, it was considered very violent. This one is really fucking cool. Branded to Kill is a movie where the director was making a lot of these Yakuza movies and he kind of got sick of it but he was under contract to make more and so he just decided to make something as ridiculous as he could oh this so is it's that like one. yeah it's yeah. like part it's kind of part cat and mouse game between two assassins it's part kind of your standard Yakuza thing and then in the middle is like this trippy psychedelic weird like this paranoid kind of mind fuck and it's got some. It's just got. It's really bizarre. Mm. It takes a bunch of like left turns. It's a really cool movie. But like I said, it's it's you know it's another what kind of slower, slower moving, but really beautiful, awesome movie. So that's kind oh, of yeah. some of the other stuff I got there. That's yeah. awesome, man. That's a pretty big haul for you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I got other random shit there around, but those are the ones that I, I feel are. Besides the two I mentioned that we might do for the channel, you know, those are kind of the slower, longer movies that, uh, you know, I just I don't know if really would work for our channel. But if you if you want to watch a good movie, like a good drama, really, th those are those are in there. I'd love to throw some more stuff like that in into the channel, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think well, Lady we... Snowblood would be a good good one for that. Sweet. Because it's still got that. It's got some good gory parts to it too, but it's still uh, more of a drama and, and just really beautiful movie. So, cool, very nice, very nice. What you got, Patty P? Well, I showed you these video movies when I got them, but haven't showed them on the channel since we do that. So, uh, one was probably actually not going to see see it very well on the video, yeah, but it's yeah, Savage fun. Dawn. Yeah. Uh, apparently it's like one per customer type thing and in mm. it it does have a poster that comes with it too that was pretty nice. cool uh, then we got Demon you, you said you watched that one I right? watched most of it uh, yeah that's doesn't seem very actiony I felt kind of let down <laughs> a bit. so yeah. I don't I don't I don't understand the cult following on it like why it was such a big deal um, next one's the vineyard that one I still haven't watched. I'm waiting to watch that with you guys. Very cool. And last one is a uh, Demonoid, which you got that one too. Still haven't watched it yet. But yeah, I haven't got mine in the mail yet. Mm. So hope you get. Yeah, I almost bought two of those when we were at that Vinegar Syndrome thing. What de yeah. Demonoid? Demonoid oh, and Savage Dawn. Oh yeah. 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 Right on. Well, yeah, that's that's been mine. Uh, I've been. I'm going to show you guys what I've gotten in. Which, speaking on this, I did a whole unboxing video earlier, and as you guys know, we got instantly fucking flagged because I had this whole little cool sketch done out where it was me and my little star thing. You know, those like star projectors mm -hmm. that go on the wall. I had that set up with all of uh, the stuffed animals and stuff that we have laying around. And I was covered in Christmas lights, and we were doing a uh, Ghetto Superstar. It was my answer to the to the John Lennon YouTube video. Oh. I thought my son <laughs> was more entertaining. Now, were you just singing it yourself, or did were you actually playing the audio? So you just sang it. No, I'm just kidding. It. I'm just kidding. That is what I mean, funny. Oh, yeah. Now I was playing it uh, 
you know, through one of our Bluetooth speakers. And honest to God, it just it did not cross my fucking mind. I was like, oh my god, this will be funny because Nathan, I fuck with you all the time. I'm not going to the superstar. Like, I want to, yeah, you know, play it at your funeral. You're gonna play it at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I was, yeah, I was having a good old time, and I started doing an unboxing and and uh, going through a bunch of shit. And we're at like 30 minutes long, and I upload it, and then yeah, it's whatever. It's fucking garbage now. So, uh, so yeah, I'll show you guys what I was showing on that video. Now, these are all um, uh, the vinegar syndromes I've, I've gotten in. Um, I've got a bunch more that are supposed to be showing up that I'll share with you guys. Some, some stuff that I've ordered I'm really super excited about. But um, anyway, yeah, so uh, this is uh, uh, Malabimba. Mm. Malabimba. Yeah, this is the porn one. I can't show oh, that because yeah. it has boobies and stuff all over it. But uh, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I mean, honestly, it was it was okay. <laughs> this girl gets like possessed, uh, you know, by the spirit of this like sex crazed woman, and she just like you know starts tempting everyone. Like, it, there's like a lot of like weird incestual shit in it, and mm-hmm. I wish I could say it was a little bit funnier than it was. Uh, I think the story's perfectly fine and pretty cool but it was i mean it's 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 a porn and it's i don't i don't really know did you, I don't know did how... you get what did you get a hard on did you uh was it more of a soft core porn or do you actually see stuff oh no there's D and V, baby oh okay yeah. uh, you, you yeah, see there's, penetration there's, yeah there is penetration okay. uh yeah i i don't know i, I don't know how so, Ooh. I don't want to say that because I don't. I don't want to offend anyone. I don't know how say someone what? could. Wa- I don't know how someone could watch these and like be like, oh yeah, now that's fucking that's hot right there. I mean, to me, it was just more humorous uh, uh, and just kind of interesting. It's neat to watch like a movie that that actually it's a legit fucking movie. There's just some fucking fucking in it, you know. It's like, Every now and then they'll take a break from the story and they'll just start fucking. <laughs> so you thought the story was you thought the story was good? Well, yeah. I just wish there was more of like the because you definitely get like an exorcist vibe off of this one, and, oh, and I I wish there was more of that as opposed to like you know the the sex stuff. But some of it, some of it, the sex stuff was kind of funny. Uh, there's like all sorts of awesome like 70s decor you know like a, there's like a bear skin rug he's got both people are fucking on and stuff and I don't know anyway the, the demon basically wants to possess someone and then have them rip this fucking family apart that's basically it and then a nun gets possessed at the end of the movie and then she jumps to her death which is really funny you get one laugh at it because you know the, the nun is it's like this like this fucking dummy that they throw off the top of this house and it's great um, so that was okay that yeah. sounds good I want to see that um, yeah you can borrow it my friend it's Absolutely. a good contrast I, for, I, could, I forgot this one I could bring this out Nine Lives of a Wet Pussy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you said that Malabimba the, the story was was pretty good or at least serviceable this one is very light on story and mostly just straight fucking scenarios I mean there's a lot of weird scenarios that they just just basically flashes flashbacks because this girl is just really horny. Mm-hmm. So it's <laughs> that's that's basically yeah. this, this, this movie. But, I mean, uh, there's one scene where where Malabimba, uh, who is our girl who's possessed, obviously she is uh, sucking off uh, her uncle, who is like, he can't walk or anything. He's just like confined to a bed. And then whenever Public he comes, he dies. That was pretty cool. What'd you say? <laughs> yeah. Well, she did something good. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So next up, uh, we've got the yeah, so Malabima will not be watched <laughs> for a review. Uh, that, that's your review right there. But uh, then we got. Uh, I was pretty excited to get this one. We got Witch Trap. Cool. Yeah. Mm. This is uh, 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 Kevin Tenney. He's the guy who did uh, Night of the Demons and Witchboard. Mm-hmm. And stuff, yeah. But anyway, this is this is also got Linnea Quigley right down there, and uh, it was fun. This is an older an older title of Vinegar Syndromes, 
And I recognize that every time I talk about their movies, I always say fun, but they are. Um, this one was pretty cool. It, it uh, It's one of those where, like, it's not a tremendous amount of blood and guts or anything, but the the dialogue is so off and so terribly just dubbed and shit that it's fucking hysterical. Oh, um, I love that. And, huh? I love that, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is full of that. I mean... I'm not saying it's the greatest thing in the entire world, it, it, but it's it's definitely funny. Uh, Linnea Quigley has a super cool uh, death scene. Uh, she takes a fucking um, spigot uh, or a shower head. I'm sorry. Like she's like looking at because nothing's coming out of it. She stands in the shower. She's like bah, bah, bah. and then uh, the shower head just like comes down and <laughs> goes through her throat and all this. Stuff. <laughs> so funny. Uh, but Stabbed yeah, no, by a shower head. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's pretty cool. Basically, this this dude, like, is trying to um, do something with this huge fucking uh, house that he has. It's been in his family forever, and no one wants to buy it, nor can he turn it into anything that's going to, like, you know, make it profitable because it has this haunted history. So he hires a couple of detectives who are ridiculously awesome 80s, you know, horror movie detectives. And... Um, and some like uh, paranormal people to come in and see what's going on. It's it's a pretty fun little movie. Hmm. Uh, let's see. This one I just watched earlier today. Uh, Deadline. This one was was fucking awesome. I really liked it. I don't know if it's gonna be channel worthy just because like it's it's kind of serious. <laughs> it's kind of hmm. uh, it's it's pretty damn dark. Um, there's only a couple of like little comical moments in it, and you. You want to talk about some awesome blood and guts, though. This one, like, it's not throughout the entire thing, but holy shit. When it wants to get bloody, fucking Christ, it does. And it's it's awesome. It's a really cool scene where this woman's, like, uh, giving birth to something. You just hear, like, all these terrible, like, monster noises. And the doctor's, like, you know, like, <laughs> trying to pull out just blood just splurting all over his fucking face. I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to uh, see that. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. It's got a the story's really awesome. It's it's like a, a horror author, um, super famous guy, and he's trying to like get out of like sleazy types of movies. Like he wants to make something um, grade A. Basically, he doesn't want to do schlock anymore. So he keeps working on it, and like it's like the the harder he tries to come up with like fucked up premises which it's basically one of those movies where it'll you know he's pondering on what to write about and as he's writing it out it'll show the image of it and um and then he um uh the more and more he tries like this stuff starts happening in his actual life and fucks everything up it's really cool uh and the last one from that lot is grandmother's house and i got this one actually off of a dude in the uh vinegar syndrome uh, collection group on facebook he was selling this one for a good price this has been out of print for a while with this slip cover uh this one was really awesome uh grandparents uh killing people grandchildren have to live with them because their parents are gone and they're trying to figure out what the fuck's wrong with mamma and papa um, now is this the one that came out a few years ago or is this or is that a remake oh i it's not the m night Shyamalan one no oh you're yeah. talking about the visit yeah. no this no, isn't this, the visit oh, okay no no <laughs> yeah yeah this, this is because that's basically the concept of them of the visit i just couldn't remember the title but yeah this one is uh in 80s um, yeah okay. it's really cool but yeah i wanted to just really quick i just want to tell you guys some of the ones i've got coming and i i haven't seen it these are all blind buys but goddamn, i'm so excited so i've got a whole bunch of vinegar syndromes i'll do a unboxing while i get those in but the ones that are not i've got robo war this is awesome. a films movie. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's another one uh, that's like loosely tied to Troll Two guy. Mm. Uh, so in another another Italian, you know, action kind of a thing. Uh, Massacre in Dinosaur Valley. <laughs> what? Yeah, this one looks amazing. I watched the trailer and I was like, "Fucking take my money!" Pretty sure it's <laughs> Italian too. The Sword and the Claw. From American genre film archive. This one looks great. Dude gets his fucking hands cut off and then he like has them replaced by these really crazy looking claws and he's ripping people <laughs> apart. All right, yeah. Death warmed up. Trailer looked kind of cool. I don't really know a whole lot about that. And then I got Killer Crocodile one and two. Mm. Yeah. 
That's another Italian. I'm going to. I think I'm going to be ordering a lot of Italian movies lately, or for a while. Yeah, okay. Italian sleaze is fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I found a lot of those those sword and sorcery movies, and in, in along along with those, a lot of those like early uh, like sci-fi cheesy sci-fi movies are also on all on Amazon Prime. Cool. Mm-hmm. Like the the make the guy that made Sorceress, like his other movies are on there. Yeah. yeah so I'm that's the best thing about Prime. Movies. Yeah. Yeah, when you you know when you click on it or whatever, it says you know like might be interested in or whatever it says. I think that's cool. I've watched a whole bunch that way. That's awesome. I can't wait to watch more of those. I loved that fucking movie. Yeah, that movie gave me a boner. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a boner movie. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's weird. You guys not being here. Yeah. I feel like I'm dead. <laughs> this is the afterlife. This is yep. <laughs> a shitty internet connection and, uh, and just uh, sitting and waiting. <laughs> and whatever the fucking name of this movie was. What's that called? What's this called again? Rare exports. Rare exports. Yep. Rare exports. A Christmas. Um, Christmas tale. A Christmas tale. Tale. It's the it's the sequel to Fightful Goes West for Hanukkah. For Hanukkah, <laughs> a rat's tail, <laughs> <laughs> but spelled, you know, T A I L. That kid kind of had a rat tail. Yeah. What did what'd you say? That kid kind of had a rat tail. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. and like a. Uh, uh, an eagle's claw for an earring or something. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like a badass. He's more of a badass than uh the Drago. <laughs> Drago. Drago. All right. Oh, that's Drago. Drago. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a review, huh? It's been huh? a review. It's been a review. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a review. Uh, so closing time, huh? I know. I feel <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Sorry. I want to stop talking to you guys. Well, just stop the recording. Yeah, I'll just stop. Talk. Yeah. Yeah, that's really? it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's adorable. All right. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, wait. I got to say something. What? I got to say something. Oh, okay. Did you see where uh, we had a comment from a girl on my um, video showing off my collection? Uh uh-uh. uh No. <laughs> I thought it was no, it was cool. I've seen a few comments of them. They were <laughs> she, like, she was like, she was like, she's like, um, this is very strange, odd. She said odd. She's like, I find it very odd that you that you have a hard time sitting through yes. the remake of Last House on the Left. But you loved uh, I Spit on Your Grave. Very odd. <laughs> but, yeah. And, 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 you know, which I commented about, like I said, I just want to talk to people about movies. And man, I had so many jokes I wanted to say in there. <laughs> because she, she, she was like, Last House on the Left only has two rape scenes at most. I Spit on Your Grave has five. <laughs> and I was thinking, like, you know, oh, if, if a movie has rape in it, you know, you can't do any less than two, but no more than five, you know? <laughs> Things like that. Um, <laughs> and I, I no, but I put on there something along the lines of like, uh, I was like, you know, they're both fucked up. I was like, I'm not saying that it, you know, it's like a Christmas tradition to throw on a spit on your grave. I was like, no, that would be very odd, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, if if you're watching this video, I appreciate you commenting, and I would love to talk more <laughs> about uh, what is too uh, much in a movie. Yes, please, uh, if you would, viewer, keep track of the amount of rapes in the movies we watch. And, uh, <laughs> tally them up. Tally them up for us. And uh, t- If you do that, <laughs> tell us uh, how you feel about it. I might send you a movie. What would you Tally send? the rapes. Oh, Are you I still don't... trying to get rid of that copy of... No, you can... no. Smurfin Commander got given no, to Dylan. No, yeah. <laughs> No, I got I got some more VHS somewhere. I'll I'll, I'll send a VHS tape of a movie. If uh, okay, if if 
any giver does that. Yes. Tabulates the number of rapes. Yeah, calculate in number of rapes. Yep. Yeah. In what? In any all the movies we've watched. In in all the movies that we've reviewed. <laughs> Sorceress has. I'll give you a head start. Sorceress has one rape. Is it actually no? It's kind of two if you if you consider the <laughs> ensorcelment. Well, the rape. two the two are one. The two are one, so, so. that might be like three rapes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> This is terrible. Well, I mean, it's funny though. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> all right. Well, like, subscribe. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Comment, hit the bell. share, hit the bell. <laughs> Tell your friends, your moms, and your dads. There you go. Yep. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>